Hey there guys, Headphones Neil here, back with an Android app review. For, so for this particular review, it's going to be a way to help make your screenshots glamorize a little bit, look better, stand out, and just make them otherwise look better so that when you're sharing them, it looks better than just a really oversized image and something along those lines. So a uh, reason why you might want to use this app is, let's say you're taking it, you got a new device and you want to share, share a screenshot of your home screen layout like you see on my screen right now or you're taking you have a news article that's harder to share you want to just share a particular part of that article then taking a screenshot is the way to go um, you can take screenshots in most apps but for security reasons you don't necessarily or you're not necessarily able to take screenshots in every app like video apps so if you're watching a video you're not able to take a screenshot in like netflix and amazon prime and hbo and all of those but you can take a screenshot of the um, synopsis summary page and all of that so if you want to share the um, episode artwork or something along those lines with a synopsis with your friends and that is an option so with that let's jump right into it so I'm gonna start off first by taking a screenshot itself so I'm gonna use the usual um, way to take the screenshot by holding down my um, volume down and power button and I before I forget, I am using and this is an Android as I meant or I mentioned in the title that this is an Android app. So this key combination is for Android. So let's take that screenshot. So you'll see that I got that screenshot saved saved so I can go into my gallery and there is my screenshot. So now once you've installed SnapMod, um, you do have the usual um, or you, you'll get a introductory um, screens telling you what the um, app is about so you can take screenshots make them fit into your frames it's you can export them easily there's a number of different models um, it says it can extract the colors from the image but I haven't gotten that quite to work yet but for me that's not really a big um, a big negative just because you can set custom colors as defaults so for me I'm using a OnePlus 8 Pro but the device does have a number of models for OnePlus and other devices as well and generally popular devices so if you have a OnePlus or a Google or a Samsung then you're most likely going to be able to get those devices there are other devices as well like Xiaomi so that have a number of models so you are more than likely going to be able to get the screenshot or get a model that fits your device but if you don't then um, that's part of the next step you can set a custom model but you do need to have a little bit of technical information so you do need to um, be able to have your you do need to know your screen width and height have the frame um, set the screenshot point the height and width and all of that so it does take a little bit to get that into get into it but if you do know your screen size and your device is similar to another model there should be a good there should not be a reason why you can't use that other model so from there um, in the settings so if you go into basic settings you can set your default background color so you can pick you know various shades of orange or uh, pink blue whatever you want so i just have this offset green color as a decent enough that fits well for most things um, you can set a notification once it's exported if you need it i have it to off it's not needed um, you can set your system color chooser or and export full screen images in the advanced settings um, you can it does have the ability to have auto color palette and things like that you can buy the pro version to unlock all of these features um, i was trying to do it and i had trouble so i don't know if it's an android 11 beta thing or um, it's not an option as of yet or something along those lines there's just a, a hiccup with my version of the app but um, you can get additional um, customizations if you want to enhance your images that much further um, so that's really the bulk of the settings so from here once you've loaded your model and you're set to go with your default background color all you have to do is touch the phone it'll load um, any screenshots you've taken so I have this one it automatically loads that frame and you see the color around it um, you can change the color so if you want to pick a different color for um, to complement what you're looking at on your phone then you can do that as well um, so that's also an option should you so choose to do that um, in the 
default colors part of the app or in the manual color picker you can also set uh, um, other alternative colors so for example if you want to you if you want to use the um, if you want to change it to the color or if you want to use a custom color then you can use and if you know the hex code you can do that or if you want a transparent um, background so it's just the phone model and it's it fits with whatever or wherever you're going to share it then you can do that as well so it does a transparent background from there you'll hit save and it gets saved to your gallery so now once you exit the app and go to your gallery you'll now see the uh, phone or you'll now see the screenshot saved to your device this is kind of transparent so th things like this um, are useful so let's say you do want to share to Instagram and your phone doesn't quite fit even with changing the aspect ratio in Instagram's color picker using apps like InShot will allow you to pick the app and because you have a transparent background you can leave it as white or you can change the background color to something else so if you want to if you do have a um, color that you want to pick then that's where the transparent um, color picker comes into play so I'm just gonna pick a color that kind of matches the um, color grid the colors that I have in my um, on my screenshot at the moment so I'm gonna pick it's kind of darker version green color here and hit save so uh, once you do that now once you go back to your gallery now this extra um, image is going to show up so that's really all there is that so there you get kind of a bonus review in using InShot as well but Snapshot, Snap Mod is one of those things apps that helps you make your um, app stand out that much more aside from just using the screenshot and as I mentioned just as a bonus screenshot um, let's say you are looking at news and you want to take a screenshot then um, same process just take your screenshot go into snap mod open up the app that you want to or the screenshot that you took and hit save so that's really the bulk of um doing that so there you go there's a new screenshot if you want to share that and then because it's an image that you um save to your device you can share it anywhere you want whether it's um uh, messaging apps, social media like Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or anything like that or communication places like uh, Discord or anything like that these are all um, easy to or shareable in any place there's no restrictions or limitations on saving it in any place like that so that's all there is for this review so if you have any questions comments concerns or anything like that this review can be found on YouTube at youtube.com slash Patel N01 the Twitter account is Patel N01 so where you can uh, check out this post all content uh, leave your feedback there as well and of course the um, website is pateln01.com for past episodes subscription links supporting the show and all of that good stuff but that is all for this particular re review thanks for tuning in and until next time